is absolutely beautiful. And all the boats had uh, left this afternoon and we had it all to ourselves. We just had our final swim. All right, so it's just gotten dark. We've just discovered that our radar is no longer working. And this is not land in front of us. This is fishing boats. Our plan was to sail through the night, but we are second guessing sailing at night because it just looks a little bit crazy. Yeah, that's what it really looks like. I'm gonna put it on night mode. So these are just the boats. Not only are there boats, there's tiny little boys everywhere, like everywhere. So, yeah, we're really wondering what to do. There is an island about 10 nautical miles away that we originally were going to anchor at. But I think it's surrounded by a reef. We really didn't want to go at night time. What's going on, Cap? Radar's just um, on the blink. The screen's just got like like when you drop your mobile phone, lines and white. And a lot of boats ahead of us, so we can either push on through this all night long. It's not only the boats, it's the fats that are all attached to them too. Or we can do a night anchorage, which I'm not a big fan of. I do have a waypoint. Um, friends of ours just rubbed their beautiful cat along the reef around this same spot we're looking at doing a night anchorage so we've got a little bit of moonlight i just yeah i'm on the fence whether to push through this or maybe just try and drop the pick a little bit wider of the anchor spot and um yeah start again in the morning when we can see what's going on because this is just like a maze of they're just there everywhere it's gonna be a nightmare Absolute nightmare. There's still so many boats. But we are going to try and anchor at Perok Nui. Um, because I don't think we could do this all night. It's going to be too hard. Even though it's nice and calm. Too many boats. Too many boats. Last night. Um, we got in about 10 and um, we anchored up to it had a good sleep, which was amazing. So we're about to head off and head to Langkawi. I just jumped in have a swim because look at the water behind me. It's so beautiful. I'm so bummed we can't stay. But we've got to get hauled out. But what else happened this morning was I was pulling up the anchor. I don't know if you can see it anymore. But there was some nasty looking jellyfish tentacles all around the anchor. Like big, long, long ones. So lucky I didn't jump in where uh, we were anchored. No catch and cook here today. It's vegetarian nachos. But this captain is still pretty stoked. So we've made another stop. We actually thought we were going to sail straight through, but we've stopped at another island. The sun is about to go down, but I just wanted to go ashore and, and show you guys. So we're going to go ashore and have a swim, I think. Uh, we're going ashore. We've got enough light to go ashore. Excited to get another swim in before the water isn't so clear. I was editing all day and thought we were sailing straight through to Lenkawi, but Lee surprised me with this spot, and to say I was excited was an understatement. Cash in. Take it to Cove, couple miles, no redwood cabin. 
Kokai is the name of this island and apparently a pretty popular spot, but we happen to snag it all to ourselves. This arch is pretty cool and I'm sure it's usually filled with people and their selfie sticks. But hey, why not? This place is a pretty epic backdrop. not as stable as our old boat but it makes up for the ride how it cuts through the water when it gets rough you don't get bounced out and, um, yeah. it's amazing it's amazing this place is amazing too it's the clearest water we've seen other than Koh Rock Nui in Thailand so it's very exciting because we were kind of losing faith in the whole cruising Thailand we were like what is this place got going but hey we found a little slice of heaven right here we got back to Catalpa and the wind had picked up quite a lot, so we couldn't stay and we sailed on. So we are sailing to Lankawi. We're going to get to our anchorage, which isn't where we check in, but an anchorage for the night. Probably in about an hour. We're sailing along very nicely, but we're also motoring because we want to get there. It's about 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. But we've had a good run from that last island. So glad we stopped, it was beautiful there. Thank you, honey. You surprised me, because I thought we were going straight through. But he stopped and we got there in plenty of time before it went dark. Oh, we're at Lankawi. We woke up after a night anchor, so we weren't sure of what the surroundings were. About 7.30, we've probably got about three hours till we get to as long as that all goes smoothly. Why is on time? Yeah, we're, we're, we're known for being on time, babe. Punctual. The uh, fun begins. Oh. You got another surprise, amazing clear water spot this morning for me? As he sits sipping his tea, contemplating the work ahead, wondering how much he's going to sweat tomorrow. Kenneth and Tracy, those cups are the best thing that anyone's ever given us. Oh, they are so well insulated. I've got like a steaming hot cupper and it's ice cold on the outside. The insulation in these is amazing. All day in the sun, you can let this outside heat up and you've got a cold drink on the inside. It's probably the best little flask I've ever used. Okay, we've arrived in Langkawi and we're about to go ashore and check into Malaysia. So, let's go. So we're just walking through the park over to the ferry terminal where we can check in. So we tried to go to the Harbour Master and check in but they're closed until 2 and it's like 1.30 so we're just sitting at Starbucks trying to use their Wi-Fi but it's not eating anything or drinking anything. 
Bella's embarrassed because we're just sitting in here. But the boys found internet, so they go on to get that and then get something to eat, I think. I'm going to work out different money. Found the Harbour Master, we're about to go in. Thank you, Bella. Process for check in. Oh, you got to immigration first. Immigration, Harbour Master, customs. So that's immigration done. Next stop, Harbour Master. It was an easy check in here, too. No holding hands, no dogs, no flowers, no bikes, no lettering, no ball games. There's a lot of no's, guys. Bella's a little bit shocked. Hey. Another sign there's no kissing. <laughs> Daddy, Come Daddy. here, you. Don't. Come here, you. We're going to get in jail. <laughs> Boat haul out eve going on here. What are the feelings? I realise you want to go to bed. Cause you're yeah, tired. I just said to Lee, I want to go to bed because we've got to get up early. And he goes, I don't want to go to bed because that means that um, I'm going to wake up and tomorrow I've got to do a lot of work. Actually, tomorrow you're probably to not going to do much I work. just about to say that. Haul out day. Haul out day. <gasps> tomorrow I get to put my suit on. My white suit. No, that doesn't come straight away until we're painting. I'm wearing it anyway. Tom, we got to so, get up, sweetheart. It's going to be over there at 9.30. So that's there, ready to go. And it's two hours minimum away. Could be more, so we're probably should leave around. I'm thinking 5:30. I reckon five. Five. Well, I think we should aim. If we aim for five, then we'll wake up at 5:30. If we aim for five, we might leave by seven. <laughs> no, we aim for five. Come we on, might guys, leave we've paid a non-refundable oh. deposit on our boat spot. Now we're gonna go. We're gonna get up early. And we'll, so you're going to help me with the boat or are you just going to play around with your movies? <laughs> I've got a great plan. Um, we actually can rent, hopefully, we're not sure yet, but we think we can rent an air conditioner. <laughs> so we're going to have an air conditioner on the boat. The boat's going to be nice and cool. Sarah and... thought it'd be a good idea while I'm working, she does movies in the air con. Yeah, you guys agree, right? So I can catch up to real time. I can just punch out all the movies all the videos and get up to real time while Lee does all the work. Give us a thumbs up if you think that's a good, good idea. Go on, press the like button. If we get enough, maybe I can just sit in here and do movies. <laughs> Morning everyone, it's about six and we're heading to the boatyard. It's like 10 nautical miles to the boatyard. And Today we're getting Kitalba pulled out of the water. Kind of excited to have all the work done, but not excited to do it. And not really excited about being out of the water for a month. It's still really dark. You reckon we got the right time? No. No? Huh? No. <laughs> I wonder if Len Cowley goes off Kuala Lumpur time. I'll tell you what, my time it gets light later here. But yeah, we're on our way to Reback. We're about one and a half nautical miles away from Reback Island. I think we get in and get lifted out easy enough. Yeah, don't drop Catalpa. <laughs> Reback Marina, Reback Marina, this is a sailing vessel for Talpa. Do you have a copy? Over. as we were coming in and we got instructions on where to pull up to. Oh, there it is. That's where she's going to get lifted out. It all comes all thanks to you all. Well, we got in. 
Lee pulled it in very nicely. Good job, baby. It's always nice when you get in the side of it. thing in another boat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got in good. And now we're just going to go up to the office and get stuff sorted. And then I think we're getting pulled out soon. So, exciting. Nervous. Looks nice as boat yards go. It looks kind of... It's all trees. It's so peaceful. It's really quiet here. So join us next time as Catalpa comes out of the water. Like this video, subscribe, share it with your friends. We love you. Thank you. Mwah!